So we have our expression in hand. Uh, we are going to use this expression to derive uh, the energy balance equation for an adiabatic constant volume batch reactor. Energy balance for an adiabatic In other words, the Q term is equal to zero, constant volume, in other words, dV over dt term is equal to zero, batch reactor. Our reaction is the same. Our species conservation balance is here. Our energy balance is going to simplify according to the constraints that we impose upon this system. Q is equal to zero. This term is, go this term is going to drop. Volume is constant. This term is going to drop. And we are going to have two terms, three terms, this term. this term, and the shaft work term. So let's translate that information over here. I'll take Na0 out, take a big frame, x times minus delta u reaction. plus CV average dt over dt is equal to shaft work. Shaft work enters into the picture through the impeller. Shaft work may not constitute too much for the situations where uh, we are not dealing with very viscous fluids. But if uh, we have viscous fluids in the reactor, shaft work may constitute a significant component, constitute a significant amount of the overall energy. So for uh, the sake of the first example, I will approximate the shaft work neg negligible in comparison to the other components. I did not specify whether I have a gas phase reactor or a liquid phase reactor. Uh, none of these were specified. This is just the general energy balance we are solving for an adiabatic and a constant volume batch reactor. Yes. Now, if this term becomes zero, and a zero term becomes, drops out of the equation that we have, then d over dt, x times a minus delta u reaction, to be equal to minus CV bar dt over dt. The internal energy change due to the reaction can be considered independent uh, independent of temperature and conversion and can be taken out of the derivative sign. So we have minus delta U reaction times dx over dt. We dropped dt's. The previous step is equal to minus 
minus c sub v dt. All right? This is equation number one. From the species conservation equation, for a constant volume batch reactor, we are going to bring in D C A over D T to be equal to R A times V. RA, I'm sorry, this is a constant volume batch reactor. V went to the other side of the equation, went, entered into the derivative, and NA over V became CA. And we are going to solve this problem for a hypothetical first order reaction, which is K times CA. And K is equal to K0 E to the minus EA over RT times CA is equal to CA0 times 1 minus X. On this side, we have minus CA0 dx over dt. So perhaps it might be useful to maintain the dt terms in here so that we are going to have coupled ordinary differential equations. We have two unknowns. One is conversion, one is temperature, and we have two equations, one coming from the species conservation and the other one coming from the first law. All right? So when we substitute dx over dt from here in this expression, we have an expression relating temperature to conversion. All right, solution of these coupled differential equations are sometimes non-trivial, but let me transfer this underneath the energy balance so that we can see everything in a clear and concise fashion. Minus CA0 dx over dt is equal to K0 e to the minus EA over RT times CA0. In fact, CA0s cancel, so I will erase this one. Minus dx over dt times 1 minus x. So, in order to solve this equation, we need initial conditions at time t is equal to 0, x is equal to 0, no conversion, and t is equal to t0. Right? Becoming familiar with the solution of coupled ordinary differential equations by numerical methods is going, to, is going to take you far and that is strongly recommended. So the terms in the frame represent the summary of energy balance around a batch reactor. You have two assignments. One is to derive the equivalent expression for dv over dt term because things will get complicated when we have a constant pressure batch reactor such as a diesel engine. 
uh, operation. Uh, and uh, the first assignment is to derive dv over dt. And the second assignment is uh, the analytical and numerical solution of this coupled differential equation.